and you can see here this is a big difference right the google paid speed test is complete now let's compare them the score first on mobile um, without the optimization we got 59 with optimization we got 91 hey everyone so welcome back to another tutorial and today i will show you an awesome plugin which will make your hosting a wordpress website two to three times faster and the results will greatly vary depend on what kind of website you have and um, how much it is currently under optimized and um, i will show you an easy plugin which because um, if you know i will show you right now that um, we get a hosting here and i think this is a perfect for like um, a small web business website or kind of portfolio kind of stuff you know which can be cached a lot more and um, lot, it, it doesn't have a lot of dynamic content like say uh, e-commerce store which will have cards and um, you know it will you will have to serve different versions for every customer so i'll show you that um, with every plan they have this um, light speed thing okay let me show you their wordpress plans okay here you can see this is the wordpress lscwp okay um yes so let's show you the all their features it should be here yeah here it is this is the light speed cache so what hosting has is um they have this enterprise version of light speed it is a server so you don't have to get into the technical stuff i will show you how you can use this to make your website wordpress website two to three times faster okay so this will be the page we will be testing okay it is a simple page and um, you can see it here okay and let's uh, do a speed test okay and we will use gt metrics to analyze the current page loading time and google uh, page speed analysis just for you know general analysis to see if we can improve its score okay currently there is no caching plugin added um, okay only the caching is uh, by which is by default by hosting are done okay so you can see here currently the uh, the speed is um, for desktop google paid speed is 82 for mobile um, it's 59 well um, the um, the important things I would say to look into is um, you can see if this can be a good thing to decrease if we can and now let's okay so the important metrics I would be looking for is 3.5 the loading time if we can decrease the loading time even a bit and the page size okay so you can here see here the total number of requests okay and it's 88 uh, score is b 88 percent and y slow score is 90 percent a so now let's go back to our wordpress dashboard and optimize this website the first thing you have to do is go to plugins okay and um, yeah here it is go to add new and search for light speed okay now just simply install and activate it now it's because the hosting uh, used this lightspeed enterprise version so you get all the features of lightspeed plugin and um, it is very simply the awesome caching plugin especially if you have lightspeed server you do not need any other caching plugin it can do everything it can compress images and um, it can com combine css minify html everything javascript okay once you have installed it um you on the left side by you'll be able to see this option light speed cache let's first go back check the dashboard here okay since um i deactivated it okay you can see here that um, it is connected again so i will show you how you can configure it okay now let's go to the cache first thing you have to make sure that this is on enable cache okay and uh, just make all these uh, turn all these options on keep this even on default settings it is it works very uh, awesome so i'll just um, save the stuff make sure that it is on and do not uh, turn on this object cache because well on host um, shared hosting it it is very resource intensive so on shared hosting it is not recommended to enable this 
it can make your website super fast but it is not made to be run on shared hosting environment and you can see the functions have been disabled too so i would not recommend you to ever enable this uh, and do not search how you can uh, you know any trick to enable it because it will result in your website crashing and your hosting company will not like it so i would suggest uh, turn this also on browsing cache and so what it will do is once a user visits your site it will store all the static files on their browser so when they visit the next site next page your the loading time will simply uh, will be much less because most of the a lot of resources common resources between those pages will be already available in the browser cache so just turn it on and save it okay and now let's go to the page optimization okay now here these are the settings which can make your super site super fast but you have to turn them you know you have to spend some time and do experiment that if something you know is breaking your site or not okay so let's i'll just um just turn on all these options let's first um, we'll have to set this domain key okay so let's do that and um, i think it should be here in general yeah in general let's request a domain key okay and um, waiting for approval let's see in the dashboard so what you have to do is um, register the signing up process is pretty simple you, you just fill your email address and thing um, I already have an account with them so I will just sign in okay and then here it will show all the websites linked to your uh, light speed okay uh, and for this website what you need is a hosting provider which has light speed enterprise version like hosting it does so uh, here you can go and they, uh, the awesome thing is they also offer your free season although i'm not using it right now but you can use it it has a quite decent limit for a small website it will be good enough okay i have not used it so i will not and they have this image optimization which is simply awesome it will compress all your images and turn it into a uh, web p version which um, which is like you know in simple words it, the image sizes will become half and the quality will be uh, almost same so with lossless compression you can um, you know you can serve the same images at half so that will result in less loading time because the page size will decrease so that's an awesome service too okay so let's see if um, the the if the domain key we requested we have got it okay so the domain we got the domain key okay and then save changes it takes a few minutes okay now let's go to the page optimize okay we can go to cdn2 if you want to enable that okay you can you will have to turn on this option and um, it will get enabled okay um, let me let's try this for tutorial okay um, let's save the changes but um, the whole image optimization and CDN could take some time so I'm not sure if it will have a lot of effect on the tutorial video but um, you can do it like this um, if you have if you can see here on the right sidebar I have already optimized my images um, 201 images let's see if I have pending images so if you have you if you are using this first time what you have to do is click on this gather image data and then send optimization request okay so you can see here that push 50 images to cloud server and um, it will be all your images will be sent to this cloud server and it will come back to your website server optimized okay and it will take few minutes um, you'll be able to uh, see the results later so let's now go back to the page optimization okay and let's turn on this options uh, this will minify and these are advanced options but um, but this will make your website really fast 
okay once for some website it may break some things so you will have to do some experiments you know hit and trial to see what works and not so you will have to spend some time uh, to make this perfect so let's save changes and I will do the same for JavaScript and stuff okay and then go to optimization settings let's turn this I'll turn this on okay and um, if you're using CDN so you can type here that like CDN dot your site dot com and like like that but um, we do not need to use it right now okay I will just remove this extra stuff because um, it is a basically a static web kind of website and um, we do not need comments and um, other stuff so I will just turn it them off but as I said it depends on what kind of website you have and I will remove the Google fonts because if we load fonts locally then it will be much faster okay especially in the speed test results uh, if it is already available in the cache well it may perform good but um, I would just remove it because it decreases the loading time I'll just remove the stuff that I don't use okay and in the media you can turn on this lady load uh, lazy load images um in the new version of wordpress i think it is coming uh, it is enabled by default so you can turn this off also um i will just enable it uh, uh, instead of the image what it will do is it will play uh, play do a place uh, placeholder uh, in the place of image till it loads so i'll do that and turn its quality to 2 so I okay, can turn it on and that should be it okay I don't want to make this tutorial too long so that's some basic optimization we have done and now let's see if the website is still so I will just uh, what I will do is log out um, because some uh, because for logged in users the cache may be different so you can see here the website is loading perfectly fine okay I will reload it and show you you can see loading time is awesome and now let's do a speed test okay let's compare it again and for, for you okay let's I will open it in a new browser and if you uh, if you are looking to switch to a different hosting provider if you are, um, check my recommendation all the links will be available in the description okay the page speed scanning process is going on there is estimated time wait time is 13 seconds and you can see here this is a big difference right the Google page speed test is complete now let's compare them the score first on mobile um, without the optimization we got 59 with optimization we got 91 that's twice almost twice right and on desktop it was 82 before and now it is 94 and it's a major uh, difference because it, uh, now it is green everything is in green and you can see all the stats here are in completely green here and um, compared to before okay and more on mobile also you can see here this is the ice uh, let's test the uh, now this is the main result okay see your page speed grade has been increased to a now we got 100 percent and the improvement is 12 percent in page speed grade and the y slow grade the improvement is four percent and the most important uh, thing is this fully loaded time okay 3.5 seconds we brought it down to 3.3 seconds uh, 163 milliseconds difference and the total page size can you imagine we had decreased the page size by almost half earlier it was 1.08 MB and now we have brought it down to 512 KB so the loading time will the real user experience will be simply be much faster 
and the total number of requests earlier it was 50 and now we have brought it down to just 10 there's a minus 40 difference so that's a major difference and you can see here we are getting 100 100 100 in everything we the uh, the lowest score we got is 99 99 and earlier it was optimized images see i told you that optimization images is just a really awesome feature and you cannot get that level of optimization with any other plugin or any other service for free uh, yes the important thing is you are getting all this for free you do not have to pay anything extra for this so for free i mean you cannot get better de deal than this i would say even if you pay for it you cannot get better deal than this okay for optimized images the score was 24 and now it has improved to 100 it's a major difference and so okay this is why you see here that that this is how we managed to reduce the page size almost by half by optimizing optimizing images because images are what um, which could make your website pages really uh, bloated and um, really heavy so we have reduced the image like major difference and scale images um, we got again 100 images dimension specifying we got 100 so it fixed everything all the issues are now fixed and um, you can see it what how much time it took you can see the website is working perfectly there is no issue with it okay we reloaded it loads instantly that's it okay so you can see here the loading time the real user experience this is the real user experience and you can see here it's not just speed test it's the real user experience which is simply very fast and even it is proved by the page speed test we have done so and how much time it took like 15 to 20 minutes and uh, unfortunately you get some error and um, if you have a complex kind of um, uh, website or uh, theme with some themes you know they have this um, javascript and css which may have some issue with uh, combining and minifying them so while so you may have to do some hit and trial but um, you can see here with just spending 20 minutes configuring a plugin oh, you can get this much better results and this will decrease the load on your server a lot so now if earlier your server could handle 10 users now you can easily handle 15 to 20 users with the same resources you do not have to pay anything extra and now this will also improve your search engine rankings and google will love you because and you, because your page speed uh, because of page speed and also your readers because for readers you know page speed is really uh, really important factor if your website is slow no one wants to stay or visit a slow website so i hope you found this tutorial helpful and um, let me know in the feedback what you think about it and if you need any help with this plugin or if you are getting any error or um, if this how this plugin helped you i would love to know your feedback so this, that's it for this video and i will see you in the next video